I'm Darcy with Goliath Tech Utah. I'm here with Dante, my installer, and we're going to be setting up helical piles for a deck in Roy, Utah today. First thing we want to do when we get to a site is make sure that the site is ready for us to arrive. We want to check for access and check for blue stake marks. Once we check for that and we make sure we can get in and it's safe, we can get rolling. Let's go check it out. Now we're going to go ahead and lay out the deck. Let's go ahead and go to the backyard and get it set up. We have installed helical piles for deck footings for contractors to build over 2,000 decks in the last five years. Using helical piles, our contractors have the option to build year round because we can penetrate frozen ground and install footings for decks using helical piles below the frost line. We can alleviate the pain of digging and pouring the footings in summer too. It is a game changer. Deck season is now 12 months instead of April to November. Turnaround time for each job is significantly reduced. We let you do what you do best, build. We do what we do best, drill. It's very critical when you're doing a deck that all the piles are spot on. And they're exactly where you want them to be. Depending on the builder, we might lay out the project or they might have it laid out. This project here, we're going to do the layout. So we have a set of plans and on that plan, it gives us a starting point. We have our starting point that we're going to go from and move from there. The first thing that we want to do is find out anywhere where we have straight parallel lines. So we're going to find those lines, we're going to mark them out, and we're going to have a string lines and also reference points for lasers. So as we install, we can put a laser on one end and then shoot it and we know exactly where that's supposed to hit on the other side. One of the major benefits of using a helical pile for a deck, for a house, or anything is being able to know the exact load that that's going to be able to hold with a safety factor of two. While engineers on most projects will give us either a distributed load or a point load, we've actually worked with an engineer that has been able to reverse engineer footing sizes to helical pile loads. This allows us to take any plan set that has a three by three footing, a 20 inch footing, a 24, anything up to a 60 inch footing and convert that over to a helical pile load, as long as that is supported by lateral support. For instance, in this situation, the deck is installed and tied into the house. The house picks up that lateral load, so the piles don't need the lateral load, so that doesn't need to go into the calculation for them. So all that needs to be addressed is the vertical load on the piles themselves, which we already have a stamped calculation for in the state of Utah. Traditionally, a deck installation has a few different steps. First, a tear down, and then after the tech deck is torn down, then the builder has to come out and lay it out, marking the locations for the footings. After he marks the locations for the footings, then they need to be able to dig the footings down to frost line, form their footing, pour their footing, and then wait for that to dry. Once that's dry, then they can build their decks and have their supports rest on them. Goliath Tech changes that drastically. For instance, here, the deck was torn down yesterday. Today, we came out, we laid it out, we installed, and we have the brackets ready to go. Tomorrow, they'll be here with their lumber and be building the deck. All of that wait time in between, the waiting for the concrete, driving to the store to pick up the concrete, creating the forms. All of that time can now be transitioned into the part of the building that they do best, the building. They don't have to worry about the stuff that just agonizes them. They don't have to have the pain point of putting the footings in. We can come in and put our piles in and they never dig again. If you're a deck builder and you work nine months, eight months out of the year because you can't work those winter months because you can't get a footing in the ground, what do you do? The answer is simple. 
helical piles. Helical piles allow you to be able to penetrate into frozen ground and be able to continue your work through the winter. We can install helical piles in frozen ground, in rain, in any weather condition except for lightning. We can penetrate through frozen ground so it doesn't matter what season you're in, we can keep your build on track and keep you building and turning over jobs all year round. Well, I'm here with Deck Kings. We're the builder. We've got Goliathek out here. We've used Goliathek for primarily, almost exclusively for the last three years on all of our projects. Uh, biggest reason, it sets us apart from the majority of the competition. We utilize them for a few reasons. We have them put in their helical pile system so that we can avoid spending time digging footings, wasting man hours on projects. It allows us then to upsell the job so that clients are satisfied with the overall project, not just five years from now, but 10, 20, 30 years from now, they know that their deck's not going anywhere. Um, what they're doing with laying it out, we actually put together a drafter in-house, utilizes a 3D design, we build this so our clients know exactly what they're getting, so we know exactly what we're building. I think they've already showed you their layout. Our drafter puts together the layout so they know exactly where piles are going. And then from there, our guys come out and within a couple of weeks put together the final project in the overall scheme. We want clients to be satisfied beginning to end. We don't want them to have to worry about a hand sketch drawing. In fact, I was out here a year ago bidding this. This is the hand sketch that gets put together. And then from these measurements and pictures, this gets put together. And in large part, the helical piles are a huge part of that in why we sell the jobs that we sell. Benefits to the, to the yard <coughs> with the helical pile system instead of sono tubes is that there's you know minimal you know when they come in with the tractor there's minimal damage to the yard they're not spending a ton of time in pouring concrete we're not having to bring a huge mixer in um, it keeps the yards of the clients less disturbed which overall in a project like this the, the less disturbance of the yard the less work they have to do after the fact the more satisfied they are Benefits or advantages to utilizing the Goliath Tech system versus what we used to do with pouring concrete footings everywhere. Um, one, it's, the biggest thing really is the time that it takes to do that. Um, for this many, we've got 17 helical piles on this project. To have a crew come out and dig those 17 footings and then wait for the concrete to cure before they can start the project, we're talking about two or three days of just time spent with concrete. So those two or three days that are cut off of that timeline allow us to do more projects, give the clients a faster turnaround time so we're not in their yard that long. Um, it really is advantageous. There's no disadvantages really. Um, Cost-wise as well, the time you would spend paying guys to dig and pour footings is equivalent to the time that we spend or the, the amount that we spend on the helical piles. So there really is a huge advantage. We save two days worth of man hours and still pay the you know less than what we would have paid to have our guys just digging footings. So it's a, a true advantage to really utilize the helical pile system. Over the last three years, we've done on average between 80 to 90 decks. And because we've utilized the helical pile system, on average, it's probably saved us probably 10 decks. We've been able to do 10 more decks a year because we've used helical piles. Uh, I would say profit wise, that saves us or creates the net profit of anywhere between probably 50 to $75,000 within a year that we're making by utilizing the Goliath Tech system and the time that it saves compared to do, using concrete footings. Um, we, we take a lot of pride at Deck Kings being the premier deck builder in Northern Utah. Uh, we've done it that's all we do is decks. We don't do windows, we don't do doors, we don't do siding, we'd focus on decks. And part of that is because we want our clients to know they're getting the best of the best. Everybody says that, but our clients truly are. We use the best quality materials from start to finish. So that starts with the Goliath Tech footings, with our framing material, our treated lumber, the decking material we use and the railing is all the best quality that we have access to in the industry. And really, the 
benefit that that most clients want is the quality versus the cost of uh, 10 years from now, I don't wanna have to be fixing this. And that starts with the footings of the deck, which is why we utilize Goliath deck. What are the pros and cons for using helical piles for building? One of the major benefits for using helical piles in decks is that you're not damaging your yard. We're able to get in here and put in 17 footings with having minimal disturbance to the ground. Typically, it only takes about a day to have all of the signs that we were even here, besides the helical piles, gone away. The grass just needs a little water and a little sun and it pops right back up. We are here to take away the pain of footings. We can come in, put them in quickly, efficiently, so you can continue your build as it's meant to be. So when building a deck, we can come in, put piles in, you don't have to dig, you don't have the hospital bills associated with your back pain for digging, and you can just enjoy the process of either you building, building the deck or your contractor building a deck and just enjoy the deck. Another major benefit with using Goliath Tech helical piles is the ability to be able to have the adjustable head that's on a threaded rod. The patented design with Goliath Tech using a threaded rod on an adjustable base allows us to be able to have our piles installed and then they have flexibility where they can adjust up and down. And we also have engineered heads that can be engineered an inch offset. And that allows us, if we hit a rock or something like that, to be able to install the pile and then make small adjustments using the heads. Let's go ahead and look at that. We have two different types of bolts that we use on our heads. The first one is an anchor bolt. The smooth top part allows us to be able to go through our base and anchor into the pile itself. Once our bolts are installed, we have our two anchor bolts that are anchored into the pile itself. That's what allows it to be able to stay steady and give it the uplift that it needs. Our stabilizer bolts are there to stabilize it, to keep it from moving at all. And so those are basically like set bolts. The head is placed on top of the helical pile and then our anchor bolts are put through our holes that we use with our pin as we start. Those are then tightened down. And any wiggle room that might be left is taken up with the stabilizer bolts. Then there's no movement whatsoever. After that, we put our heads on. The heads are threaded in You have four inches of adjustability once your head's in. That means you can have it come up or down and that thread can be out four inches to make sure everything is at a perfect level. Then you're ready to build. If you already have your post in and you need to make minor adjustments, all you need to do is loosen your bolts and then adjust the base and that head will come up and down. Put the bolts back in, tighten them back in, you're ready to roll. So this is our deck. We installed the piles for this job here. So let's take a look. So as you can see here, this is a basic six by six beam going in our six inch saddle back bracket. They uh, secure these by putting screws on each side of the six inch bracket. That way they can be safely secure. And yeah, you can see where we installed every pile here. Even these ones here in their core cut. You can see they perfectly went in. Everything looks nice and level. It's nice they're able to run these straight 
beams going all the way down and across, so it looks good. For most decks, you're typically seeing a concrete footing being used for individual post beams. Our idea here is putting these in the ground instead of using any kind of concrete. That way it makes it easier so we're not messing with the soil, we're not having to bring a concrete truck in, they pour, dig holes. These just screw right in, they put, place their beams, and it's just a much smoother process. Our patented fully code compliant head design is adjustable to fit your posts. No concrete, no excavation. We will do what we do best so you can do what you do best. No more going to the hardware store to buy concrete, digging below the frost line, forming your footing, getting it inspected, mixing concrete or ordering it, pouring, then waiting for it to cure. Use that time turning over more jobs or going fishing. No more worrying about a water table or backfill. No more digging. No more worrying if it will settle. We won't settle and you shouldn't either. Our goal for contractors is to eliminate the pain points. The pain point of digging and footings and the mess that comes along with it. We measure our success by how much time, money, energy that we can save our contractors that allows them to turn over more jobs. That's our measure of success and that's why we're Goliath Tech Utah.